Hey everybody, it is Wednesday. I'm fairly certain of that fact, but don't quote me on it. Um, I'm actually going to lunch. I didn't film this morning because I was running a little behind. So, I am going to go to Freebirds and get my nachos that I haven't had for a couple of weeks. I love me some nachos. So I'm gonna go do that and then head back to work and um, try to get a couple of things done today at least. Come on, people, there's no sub signs, come on. Oh, you're an idiot. You're a moron, hello. Wave that person on like 10 times. Anyway, and then the guy behind me keeps wanting to go around me. I don't know what his major malfunction is. Oh, here's that carnival again. They've nearly got it set up. They're close. It's like, ugh, they got most of the rides set up, but they're still working on some other stuff. And it's gonna rain, so I don't know how that's gonna work out for them. So nothing new on the vacation thing. My wife wasn't feeling good last night, so I just left her alone. I, her and I need to talk about it today, though to make sure that it's where we want to go and what we want to do and then we got to figure out how we're going to pay for it and all of that so so I guess we'll figure that out we're going to have to figure it out next couple of days because we got to get tickets bought and everything else so and then um, what else was I going to tell you guys I don't remember. I got part of my history done. At least the, the chapter five is read. I still have to do like the little pre-tests and the little fake exam thing. And then I can move on to the next chapter and then go on from there. Hopefully this one I pass like really, like really, 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 really pass it. Like do like exceptional at it. And then, um, it takes some of the pressure off. Not a lot of it, but it takes some of it off. So, and if not, if I fail it, I fail it. And um, we just concentrate on English and getting it done because if I can get all my English stuff done, then we can go on vacation a little earlier than we had originally thought. So, <sighs> just trying to get it all together all at once and it's damn near impossible <laughs> so anyway I'm going to go get my nachos Ugh. and then uh, head back to work sorry there was somebody like driving like an idiot right in front of a cop <laughs> and they're getting popped yes first time I've ever seen that happen they pulled across they like were in the lane next to me in front above you know above in front of me on the other the other lane and uh they decided to back up and pull across three lanes and then turn and uh they didn't signal and they were kind of parked like this on the road waiting for the lights to turn green so they could cut through and i guess the cop didn't feel like that they should have been doing that which they shouldn't have it was an illegal uh, move and so it looks like he popped him. I don't see his lights on yet, but he's way down there now. But anyway, I thought that was pretty funny that finally, you know, when you see somebody do something stupid or illegal and you're like, you know, there's never a cop around when one of these idiots acts like this. Well, today there was. Ha <laughs> ha. All right, so I'm headed home. It's really cloudy and it's been, it's like it's been sprinkling a little bit. So, oh, this afternoon was all right. Uh, it was a little busy, but wasn't too bad. And so I got a little bit more work done. So tonight I need to go home and finish up some history reading. And then I think I only have i only have like a couple more chapters to go which i should be able to knock out friday because i can't do anything thursday night because of um 
us going to our class so we'll all have to be done I'll have to get as much done as I can tonight and then get a bunch done Friday and then Saturday uh, we're supposed to have a garage sale Saturday so I'm not taking my test till Sunday I know my wife will probably be upset about that um, but my whole point on that is that um, that gives me Saturday to study and make sure that I'm ready not that I'm gonna feel like I'm ready but at least it gives me an extra day to try to get ready so uh, and I think we're having a garage sale on Saturday anyway and the testing center doesn't open till noon so I can like leave right at noon get over there take the test and then come back and help her shut down the garage sale so I think we'll be all right But tonight, hopefully she's in the mood to talk about vacation and we can start figuring out some things and I'm going to finish doing my reading. I've like, for the second, for the sixth chapter, I think I have like five pages left. So, um, I read a little bit during lunch. I figured out, I, you know, I have an hour for lunch. I went and got nachos today and when I got back, I had like 40 minutes to kill. So I was able to read quite a bit, 40 minutes. So I'm going to finish that tonight. Um, I need to work on my English really bad. That's probably what I'm going to do tomorrow night once I get home is work on English homework. Um, that way that's done because that's got to be done Saturday and I can still complete it. I can still finish reading the other two chapters and get all those tests done um, on Saturday if I need to since I'm not taking the test till Sunday. So, anyway, I'm going to get up to the house and eat and relax a little bit do my reading and hopefully try to confirm some vacation plans i'm getting excited like really excited but if you guys have any suggestions let us know because nothing is set at this point so um something else i'm working on before we go on vacation i hope to have it done at some point in time is i'm working on actually setting up a website um, that you guys can go to and I'll actually have like updates on stuff and You'll be able to watch some of my videos and then occasionally I'll throw a video out there That I don't have like up on YouTube like special videos that I don't upload to YouTube They're just on the website by themselves. So I'm trying to work on it It's really hard with everything else going on, but this summer it'll everything's gonna get easier not going to school so I'll, I'll be able to get stuff like this done and um, hopefully get back to getting the gaming channel back up and running hopefully all right I'm gonna finish up the vlog um, got my history reading done so I've got two chapters completed I just got two more to do and then I got to take all the pretests and stuff and then spend most of the day Saturday studying and Sunday morning and then going and taking the test and seeing how I do um, I just had fun kind of out of breath well I wouldn't say it was fun but um, my arm's itchy. Uh, when I came home, the chicken coop was shut and the goats were out, which happens from time to time. Here, I'm going to switch you guys over here. And, um, so my wife asked if I put the chickens and the goats up and I was like, well, I thought the chickens were already up. So I went out there, no chickens in the chicken coop. So I look in the goat pen, which is next to it. Even though the goats don't stay there right now, they're not going to until it starts getting warmer. Um... I look in there and all the chickens, but one is in there. So I came and got my wife and uh, we went out there and we found the other chicken. She was hiding in the chicken coop uh, behind the food bins. So she was fine. And so I poured some food and my wife was grabbing the, um, the chickens out of the goat side and putting them in while she grabbed the rooster and he's an ass. And he starts screaming, ow. <laughs> I wish I would have taped it, but I was laughing too hard. And the goats took off running across the yard that scared the shit out of them. <laughs> the other chickens were scared and I was laughing. So it was actually really funny. <laughs> so he kept going, ow, 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 ow. And that's, he literally was saying ow. It was the craziest thing. So anyway, uh, Gertie, the pregnant mama, hit me tonight. She butted me right in my bad knee. So my knee is hurting. So I'm going to call it a night and go to bed. So, um, oh, there's this thing called, look it up, but Google it. Um, actually, I'll try to provide a link below, but if there's not one, you guys Google uh, grill walkers. Um, it's this thing that I got into a long time ago when I was a hot dog vendor, and these guys were starting out in Germany. 
uh, and it's basically like a backpack grill and they cook the sausages up and sell them and uh, I've always been like super duper interested in it and found out the guy sells them uh, I don't have the money for it of course it's like six grand uh, a little over six grand uh, for you know US dollar and it's like 4600 euros but uh, the thing's badass, so I've been doing some research on that. So you guys check that out. It's actually a really cool concept. Basically where canisters, two small canisters of gas on your back, which sounds dangerous, but there's all these safety valves and everything they put in. So if there's a leak, you can get the thing off of you. You can unclip and throw it. And a lot of them, I'm sure, wear fire extinguishers next to them. Um, so it's not, I don't think it's any less safe than using a uh, an actual standing next to a uh, aluminum cart like I used to have because if that thing went it went so there's not much you can do about it but they always have safety valves and everything where it'll it'll actually cut off if the fire can't go back down in there and then there's really no other way to to ignite the gas in the tanks so that's why you have a regulator a regulator will usually stop that so anyway uh, check that out it's actually pretty cool and um, maybe one of these days if I'm rich or start making money doing this, I can do that and put my GoPro on and uh, find some place that'll actually let me do it. That'll be the hard part. <laughs> so anyway, thank you guys for watching. Um, if you're new to the videos, make sure you hit that subscribe button. Uh, for everyone, if you find a video you like, please hit that like button. Uh, you can leave me a comment or leave me a message here on uh, YouTube and I'll somehow find it in Google Plus or you can hit me up on Twitter it is YouTube underscore Frank I will see you all tomorrow